Okay, let's take some time to talk about the melody of the song. Now, the melody, in any case, is one of the most important parts of the song. Because as the instrumentalist, it's your job to convey the melody to the people, or even if it's to yourself, is to convey it clearly. Because you don't have a vocalist that's actually singing the melody. A lot of times when people are listening to music, that's the first thing that they gravitate to, the melody. Especially when it's a song that they know the lyrics to and they sing along with it. So you need to know the melody and to be able to play it on your instrument. And on the piano, we're playing the melody with our right hand. And you also need to know the lyrics. And that's because the lyrics have syllables within the words. And those syllables translate to specific note values when you play the melody. The other reason why you need to know the melody of the song, because when you go to rearrange the melody and you go to improvise over the melody or change up certain notes, you need to know basically what you're changing. And you need to be able to, at any time, go back to the basic melody if you need to really convey it to the listeners. So knowing the melody is very important. Now, you may not be a singer. I'm definitely not a singer, as you'll see in a few minutes. But you need to be able to have the melody memorized. Now, as I sing this, you may hear my voice jump a little bit because it's actually hard for me to sing this song in this key. But the song goes, What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to singer but the main point is to memorize the melody memorize it note for note as you can see I have it memorized and I'm also referring to the sheet music reading it as well to make sure I'm giving the notes the proper time values and and giving the syllables their proper value as well and saying the right words but it's very important to know the melody that's the first key to any piece memorizing the melody of the song because the melody is the first thing that people gravitate to. If I were to play this song and I were to play it like this. as far as accompaniment but you have no idea what song I'm playing because the melody is not clear now if I play it like this now you can hear you can hear the melody clearly so know the melody know the lyrics so that you can be able to take its particular parts in the song. For instance, in this song, we're going to take the... Right here, where it would go... It would actually go... And we are actually going to go... going to actually go to D and that's because of the actual chord that we're going to be doing there that chord doesn't have a C in it and since the melody was actually C we had to 
rearrange the melody to fit the chord. It actually sounds colorful. So know your melody and know it well.